All right. Hopefully this is going to work. <laughs> totally random Minecraft server. What could go wrong? Wow. Okay, well... Um, <laughs> kind of an embarrassing story, actually. Uh, working with my recording software, and previously it didn't work at all. So, whoa, what's that over there? Holy cow. Is there more stuff in here? Um, yeah, so it's kind of a bummer, and there's a thing over there, too. That must, maybe that's lava? Where'd it go? Oh, it only shows up when I'm... Ooh. So the uh, recording software didn't work at all. So... What I'm going to do now is... As much as I would love to say reload the save, since I am actually working in the server, there's no saving. Uh, the server saves everything for me. So I'm just going to have to sort of tell you what happened. Maybe explain it briefly. And then, um, we'll kind of go from there. So, what happened... Sorry, I hate that noise. Um, <laughs> what happened was I came across, pretty much right where I spawned in, uh, I came across a chest full of diamond armor. And it was really kind of amazing. Um, I got some diamond tools as well. Um, a few dirt blocks, you know, that protected me for the first night. And, um, all... All was going well, and I was just sort of walking through. Uh, where I originally spawned in, there were no trees, like none at all. And so um, I actually had to go find some trees. So I was just walking and walking and walking, and finally got to a swamp area. Uh, when I And when I got through the swamp, I started getting some trees, getting some wood. And then I came across this uh, giant, and I'll, I'll come down the side for a second. But there's this just giant pillar of water, and I couldn't tell what was going on. I actually approached from a slightly different side. Um, it's not not hugely, doesn't matter a ton which side you come to it from. But it's just this giant pile of water here in the middle of no nothing. And so I was really concerned at first and decided to just climb up it and I, I don't see any monsters or anything so i think we're okay for the time being even though it is night uh yeah so came across this and we got there this is a weird little place so let me get into a, a quick tour of it all right so here's sort of one of the sides of it i came i came to it from the other side over here, uh, there are like two llamas up on top of this little plateau here, and uh, standing on the butte. So there's some. Uh, it does look like wheat. So there's some wheat here, and plenty of space for more uh, cultivating of plants. Uh, and like I said, llamas. So I came from over this way, and I was about there and noticed something looked odd so came up this waterfall just swam up you know as you do in minecraft and there's water surrounding this entire thing so i don't understand like that must have been a lot of hi <laughs> that must have been a lot of trips with a little bucket or something and the thing that i don't understand is i just loaded and installed this server yesterday the day before something like that so there's something weird going on here. I don't know if maybe somebody found my my server. I'm, I, yeah, I'm the only one on here. So I don't know if somebody found the server and they uh, built all this stuff, or if this belongs to somebody else. But I mean, I, as of as of now, checking the logs for the server, there's been no one else on here. So, and I, there's no way this would have like auto generated. This is so bizarre. Anyway, but there are a ton of torches out here. I, at the end of the last part, I was realizing that since it's night and there are a bunch of torches out here, probably there aren't going to be many monsters around this area uh, just because of the 
the whole they don't spawn if there's enough light. So out here there might be one, two. No, I don't. It's sort of weird. I don't see any any creatures. So um, I might have to check the settings. There, I might have the monsters turned off for spawning in the server settings. I'll have to check that. Anyway, so there's this house here though, and it's got a big chimney, and uh, it's it's kind of cool. It's like brick and it's got a big fence around it. So actually, both of the doors have little fences here, and it's kind of nice because you know mostly keeps things out. Uh, and then a door on each side, door here, door there. And then when you come inside, there's a you know three little campfires. And a little crafting table, which is nice. Um, I found a couple of maps in that stash before as well. Um, and so there are some maps that I've found. And that's one of them uh, actually contains the this area right here, this, this chunk of the world. And it uh, made a big difference in helping me find it. So three little campfires here. Here's a ladder up to a little loft where we've got two beds. There's a bed, there's a bed. I'm actually going to sleep real quick just to make it so it's daytime. Anyway, so, yeah, I mean, awesome view. Glass here. Like, there's a ton of effort that went into this. Big big chest with a whole bunch of stuff in there. Five diamond swords. Three iron pickaxes and two diamond pickaxes. A bunch of iron, diamonds, coal, all that stuff. Just, like, fully stocked. Um, and then also some more food in this one. Some more tools. Stone pickaxe, huh? Oh, gotta start somewhere. Anyway, so, uh, but then the craziest thing was I, there was also some diamond armor in those chests. So I was putting diamond armor on these little, uh, these armor stands. And what I realized was there's this button right over here. So when you push the button, two little trap doors open. So there's gotta be some sort of sophisticated redstone something something that I'm not too familiar with. And down here, there's some crafting stuff, and then also another chest, which I actually didn't open last time. Holy cow. So, uh, two more sets of diamond armor, a uh, couple more diamond tools. Wow, some, oh, some chicken spawn eggs, sheep spawn eggs, cow spawn eggs, some more diamonds, iron ingots, and a bunch of coal. Okay, a couple of torches. Um, and so, what I was thinking is, oh, and there's this little room down here, and it's just nothing. Like, there's nothing in here, no torches, no nothing. So what I'm thinking is this would be a really great little place to start a, a mine to try to find some stuff. And, you know, we're up on a hill, so i got plenty of space to go down without hitting the the bottom of the world. And, I mean, it, it could be a good little place to start. And it looks like whoever did it, you know, they put a lot of effort into it. One, one block of dirt here. I, so I don't know if it's if it was part of the game design or if it I don't I don't know I I do not know where this all came from so anyway um that's kind of where we are right now oh, scared me anyway so uh what I wanted to start out right now doing is just taking a look sort of around this this plateau and seeing what's up here um, I did notice last time there's a little cave here. And I'm wondering, oh, there's not, wow, so there's, there's some stuff here, some coal or whatever. Um, there's, there's a lot of potential up here, huh? Oh yeah. And there's, there's lights all over. So lanterns galore. Uh, I don't know if this, uh, this was man-made. Well, you know, man-made to use that term loosely, but I don't know. I I am just so confused about how this all came to be. Um, really glad I stumbled on it though, because it's nice. It's nice to have a fully stocked uh, little house. I also noticed that there's a a spot over there, so I'm gonna go over that way and and try to see what that is. Whee! So this is a savanna. This this looks weird. Now I'm like I'm questioning everything. <laughs> if there's yeah like this that that doesn't look right. That can't be. Well I'm I'm sure it's probably fine. 
Oh, that's a, it's a, is it a village over here? So there's a house just up on a hill from the village? This has got to be a village, right? Yeah. This looks like a village. Wow, they got like acacia everything. I really like the look of the acacia wood. At least I think it's acacia. If I take my axe and cut one out. Yeah, acacia. Acacia is my favorite, my favorite wood type. Oh, okay. A little dirt, dirt house there. Okay, please tell me this is a village and that there are. Oh, that's a big weed right there in the house. This, this looks the village looks abandoned. I don't see anybody out here. This is such a weird game of Minecraft. I do not understand what is happening at all. Is there are there villagers in here? These are dirt floors. Who planted all this stuff? Well, I mean, I, I get that it's Minecraft, but... Okay. What is this? Like a half-finished house? I, I could have sworn that when I was setting this up, I told it that I wanted monsters on and I wanted NPCs on, but... I'm going to have to double check those settings because there should be people here, right? There's a well. Oh. Ooh, fun. Let's yeah, not die in the well. Oh, maybe it's too late. Well, uh, sorry for ruining your well, guys. Oops. Oh, we got a lot of acacia logs. All right, well, um, there's a little road here. Looks a little worse for wear. Some holes in it. Looks like a an odd hole in the in the wall over there. Some cows. Yeah, I'm I'm really unsure what's going on here. What? That looks like, that blatantly looks like a, like a person made that. Okay, I'm starting to get a little creeped out here. <laughs> this might be a haunted server. <laughs> uh, that's just weird. I, there's no, yeah, there's nobody else on. It's just me. I think maybe that's the more creepy thing is that it's just me. Huh. Alright, well anyway, I'm going to head back to the big water spire, I guess, and I'll meet you back there. Alright, so here we are back up here. It's a really nice view of the whole area. Um, there's a little village over there and then like a little mine out there. So I'll have to make myself a bunch of torches and, and go check that out later. Um, I did want to say too that I am noticing some server lag um, just because I've got this running on a different machine, the, the server's running on a different computer on my network, and uh, I think I'm, I'm asking too much of it. So I might have to you know, decrease the draw distance a little bit on that and mess around with a couple of the settings. So if you see things that look different in our next part, uh, that's probably why. And you can see too, like when I turn, <laughs> it's over on the left there, like there's that big mountain. And it sort of comes into view, and then it goes out of view when I look at it. That's a little weird. But I guess that's kind of how squares work, right? Anyway, um, so, yeah, so I guess the plan right now is to start developing that mine underground and seeing how that goes. Um, one of the big reasons I wanted to do a server was so that I could actually have other people join me on this. So I'm looking at getting some, some guests to come help me out. And, uh, you know, maybe get, get my brother back on, get a, a couple people from around the community, come play with me and, uh, start improving this little 
this little abode here. So, I mean, I'm, I'm taking this over because it's my server, so I can do what I want. Um, but uh, I'm also thinking now, after going and seeing that village, I might take a bunch of their stuff and start, you know, maybe maybe redo this or build a different house or something. Are those banners? That's cool. This is a really cool place, though. Oh, I keep thinking that's a person <laughs> standing there, like, about to look at me. And I'm like, ah! But, no, it's just a suit of armor. Just a suit of armor there. Anyway, uh, so, thanks so much. And as the sun sets on, on the day, so, too, it sets on this episode of our Minecraft journey. So... There will be a, a future part. Um, it might be a few days coming, though, because uh, I do have a busy few days ahead of me. And uh, so I'm, I'm just one person, one man crew here. So anyway, uh, llama, I'm trying to do an outro here. <laughs> anyway, so I um, hope you guys are all having a great day and uh, I'm gonna just crawl up into my bed for the evening and wait it out that sound again I'm, I'm drawn to the blue bed anyway with that I will see you all later